what does this mean? We are these bits and pieces of nature. Uh, what this means is that within you resides all the same things that are in the frog, in the bird, in the tree, and in and out of everything else on the entire planet. So everything is made of these basic elements. There's five of them. There's space, there is water, there is wind, there is fire, and there is earth. So the legend of Ayurveda is they sat in meditation and God spoke to them and gave them these beautiful texts that we've interpreted. Or maybe it's more true that they simply observed nature and they thought, wow, when they're watching a fire. If I put a piece of wood in this fire, it transforms and it comes out ash. I must have a fire in my stomach because when I eat, it transforms and it comes out something else on the other side. <laughs> And then maybe they watched the wind blowing a leaf through the air, and it went this way, and it went that way, and it went up and down, and suddenly it stopped, and then it picked up again. And they thought, wow, that leaf on that wind is just like my thoughts. I'm here, I'm there, I'm thinking, 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 and suddenly I just go really quiet. I must have wind in my brain. And then one day they're out, you know, plowing the field, and there's a big boulder sitting in the middle of it and they try to move the boulder. And they push and they push and they push. And it takes them so much energy and effort to get that boulder moving. They finally pause with aching muscles and they think, wow, I must have earth in my body because I really can't change my bones very much. And it's really, really hard for me to change my muscles and it's really, really hard for me to change when I put on some weight. I must have the same boulders living inside my body. And I think they just took all of this and they applied it somehow to their medical diagnosis of us. Um, so those are the elements. And that's from Henry David Thoreau. It says, shall I not have intelligence with the earth? Am I not partly leaves and vegetable mold myself? And I will send you guys a reading list because you're going to do a lot of quiet time and a lot of reading, and you're going to be amazed at some of our poets, how insanely spiritual they, they were. You know, Emerson and Thoreau, and then there's Rumi and Hafiz. So I'll send you a whole list of those guys to start enjoying. <laughs>